I think there are some moments, though, where decisions are made in the camera movement and some more of the extreme angles. Like, there are definitely times when the camera's low and, you know, there's a group— I, I, I don't know how to describe the moment, but when Monica was kind of held in that hotel and she's surrounded mm -hmm. by all the FBI agents— um, yeah. You definitely do feel like there's a there's a con, there's a control balance there, and you're sort of shooting up at all of the men in the room, mm -hmm. but and they're like trying desperately to get her to do what they want, and she's really not doing it. And there's there's kind of a there's an there are moments when I think you're implying that certain people have power over the scene through yeah. camera motion and through you know angles and things like that. I'd love to talk a little bit more about uh, about that and sort of the techniques that you used there. Uh, it, it was fascinating because earlier on in the shooting, um, in fact, in prep, in preparation for the camera test and stuff, we found out that Panavision had, we believed, as uh, Gordon Willis's uh, split diopter system from all the president's men. No way. The, the actual <laughs> you, system? Well, I believe it was. They said it was. And so we took this on the road and we, I tested it as well. And it's, a, it's an old school sliding, uh, map box sliding system. And the attention was to thread in some split diopter work as 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 it's so well used in All the President's Men. There's very, very famous moments in that movie that are just spectacular, and, and it's all about the use of split diopter. And it also creates a, a, an unusual sense of paranoia uh, and partially, you know, claustrophobia in a weird way. But um, we were shooting a scene where we were trying to convey somebody eavesdropping uh, on a conversation in the next office, and we were not quite getting the tone and my operator said, well, what if you use the split diopter? And I said, well, it's not that kind of shot. And, but we put the split diopter on. And if, if you know what I mean by this, I went wide open with a lens and it completely blurred the line, but it created this amazing sense of focus. Yes. Uh, and, and I ended up calling, like, calling it the sensory lens because when there was moments, particularly there was moments that you mentioned there with, um, Monica in the Ritz Carlton Hotel, and we used it. We used that device and that technique to almost completely like crush her. You know, mm -hmm. like um, there's a there's a feeling like we're bearing down on her. We're almost like two inches f from her face. And but we also used it in other areas of the show where you know Li Linda was kind of eavesdropping too. And there's just a sense of unusualness to it so we, we sort of by not by accident but we we had it we had the intention to use the split, split diopter but it, uh, but it ended up becoming it, using a different way it, but we found it really effective we found it was a great language um that ryan particularly loved and he loved to use it you know when vince foster kept, there's a, there's a vince foster scene where he commits suicide we used it in that to, to again uh, create a sense of unease and um it's not like dreamlike. It's 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 kind of got a peculiar feel, and, and you can get this effect with through um, shift and tilt, tilt lenses. But we we use that a lot, and that particularly that scene with uh, Monica in the in the Ritz Carlton that was that was a good use of it. And I know that Ryan was particularly conscious of trying to make these FBI characters feel larger than life, you know, yeah, physically and photographically. I love the use of that. I sort of had, I sort of thought it was a split diopter, but it's 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 not a traditional yeah. use, so I wasn't one hundred percent sure. But it's yeah. interesting to to hear that it was. And I so the effect that you got that kind of super blurred line mm -hmm. was just keeping the camera wide open. So I yeah. so I guess alternatively, my impression now after hearing that is that usually the the quote like proper use or traditional use of a split diopter is to close up a little bit, so it's a little bit more in focus. That's right. You have to actually do the opposite. You have to shoot deep. Or there's a, there's a fine balance between split diopters to make the line disappear, but still be um, kind of visible in a way. I mean, D Brian De Palma used them a lot, as you know, in his movies, and they're they're very stylized techniques. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a science, and it takes it takes a little bit of time to get right, and you have to bury the line somewhere in the frame so it doesn't feel like it's a it's a it's a filter effect. Um, there's the scene in All the President's Men where Robert Redford's on the phone, and I think it's one continuous shot. And in the background with where Nixon is on the on getting reelected, and um, and he's on the phone, and it's 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 
it's an amazing, you know, amazing moment. And I, 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 I kind of try to honor that in places. We did use actual split diopter moments of, say, a telephone in the, in the, right, in the yeah. right hand side of the frame when Linda comes in and she picks it up and, and answers. So, yeah, it's, it was a great, it's a great kind of uh, technique. You guys did a great job of not really overusing it either. Like it's so it's it's so helpful. Every time it's being used, it really helps enhance mm. the feeling of that moment. So I, I think those seems like one of those tools that you can, especially when you're shooting over the course of weeks and weeks and months and months, you almost like forget when you used it last and it's a tempting yeah. tool because it looks so cool. Um, it's something that I think could kind of draw you in to almost overuse it over the course of an entire show. But I think you guys yeah. did a great job of restraining from that. Um, 